So many tears for yet another victim of Russia's war in Ukraine. Mourners in Kyiv paying their final respects to a fallen Ukrainian soldier, a husband, brother, and son. He was reportedly killed near Bakhmut. Bakhmut. Intense fighting has the city almost unrecognizable. Debris litters the streets. Buildings are on fire. Our house is destroyed. There was a shop near a building. Now it's not there anymore. In this besieged city, across the country, millions are still living without power. Ukraine accuses Russia of persistently targeting Ukrainian energy facilities, giving engineers little time to repair the grid before the next strike comes. Ukraine's energy minister describes the situation across his country as really difficult. Strikes have left Ukraine with a power deficit, unable to meet the basic energy needs of the country. Fears are growing among Ukrainian officials. Moscow could be planning large strikes around New Year's Day. In this small village near Kherson, people are bracing for a bitterly cold winter, a winter without power, collecting firewood and other supplies to protect against plummeting temperatures. We will get through the winter because we fixed the chimney and now we can heat the house. We will get through it. We do not have any other option. Where would we go? On top of all this, a war of words brewing between Moscow and Kyiv. Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, issuing an ultimatum. Ukraine must bow to Russia's demands, including giving up occupied Ukrainian territories, or else the Russian army will take matters into its own hands. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, says that won't happen. He's vowing to retake all captured Ukrainian ground. Diplomatic negotiations seem just as gridlocked as the battlefield. Little sign of peace coming this holiday season in a conflict that continues to grind on.